body movements, importance and variety of joints. You run around the basketball court in the sports period. You may be sitting at the table when you snack and chat. You may be walking around a lot of times in the day. Do you know that with every such action, you are using your bones, muscles and joints? Without these important parts, you would not be able to sit, stand, walk or pretty much do any movement that you do. You know that you have bones inside your body. All the bones together are called your skeleton. The places where two bones meet is called a joint. You can bend parts of your body only where there are joints. So you can move your body only because you have so many joints. You know that we have a skeleton of bones inside our body. Is the skeleton just one big bone? The skeleton is made up of many bones. The place where two bones meet is a joint. There are many joints in the body. Look at the different ways in which you can move your body. Which are the places where you can bend your body? You can bend your neck forwards and backwards. You can bend your arms at the shoulder, elbow and wrist. You can bend your fingers at three different places. You can bend your body at the waist. You can arch your back too. You can bend your legs at the hip, knee and ankle. You can bend the toes of your feet too. There are many places where you can bend your body. Why can't you bend your arm like this? There is no joint there. Why can't you bend your leg like this? There is no joint there. Wherever we can bend our body, we can do it because there is a joint at that place. We cannot bend our body in places where there is no joint. Move your arm at the shoulder. You can move your arm all the way round. This is one kind of joint. Observe how you can move your neck. You can move it forward and backwards, left and right. The neck joint is a different kind of joint. Move your arm at the elbow. You can only move it up and down. You cannot move your elbow joint like your shoulder joint. This is a different kind of joint. What about the joint in your wrist? Your wrist also moves up and down. This joint is like the elbow joint. Move your leg at the hip joint. You can move it all around. This joint is like the shoulder joint. So, our body contains several bones joined together at different places by joints. We can bend or rotate our body parts only at those joints. Different joints allow movement in different ways. The arm can bend at the elbow joint. As you can see, bones meet at the elbow. There are joints at other places in the arm too. You know where the arm bends. Can you see the joints? The leg bends in the knee joint. As you can see, bones meet at the knee. There are joints at other places in the leg too. You know where the leg bends. 
Can you see the joints? We can bend our body where we have joints in our body. When two bones meet, we call it a joint. Here is one very interesting thing. All joints do not help us move. Fixed joints are fixed in place and don't move at all. Our skull has some of these joints. What did we just learn? Our body contains several bones joined together at different places by joints. Joints are of two kinds, fixed joints, moving joints. Fixed joints do not move at all. Moving joints allow us to bend and move. There are different kinds of moving joints in our body. There are different types of moving joints in our body to help us carry out different movements and activities.